guys, welcome to part 9 of How to Make It Survival Game in Unity. And today, I just got a quick fix for our um, cylinder allies. And all you're going to do is go to AI Rotate and change your code in your update to this. So let me just scroll over here and come back and just um, change it to this. And now. I got something amazing in store for you guys. So, we're just gonna enter our game. Okay, I'm just using my boring old gun. Oh, I gotta do a few shots to kill the guy. What is this? Yes, you saw it. It's a shotgun. Two shots with a small delay, and we can easily kill the enemy. So we click P, and now we got a shotgun friend. So shoot once. Okay, one, two, three, four, shoot twice. So it's a really powerful shotgun, and um, it's basically amazing. Um, and uh, we're going to be using an asset for this. So go into your asset store. And once you're in the asset store, once you're in the asset store, click, I mean, type in, type in shotgun 4.5.5. And it should be not here. So what you can go to 3D models. Uh, props, weapons, I'm just gonna click on weapons, top three, and then you're gonna click on shotgun, I'm pretty sure, no, that's not the one. Hmm. Yeah, here it is. By adequate. Yep. Now click import on this, and that should be imported into your project. And now what you're gonna do is click on the shotgun folder here, and you'll see this Mar Mode 3. Just drag this into your scene anywhere you want. Right? Change the rotation to 90 on the Y axis. Okay. Now go straight to your I'm just gonna duplicate this FPS control for a sec. Okay, um like usual I'll have an example right over here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is click on the first person character of this FPS controller, and I click on machine pistol and get the coordinates of this and click on the shotgun or Marmo 3 and copy the X value of the machine pistol, the Y value of this um, now the Z value. Okay. Never mind, bring the beat back. And we're just gonna We're just gonna bring it up and align it perfectly. And just align it to the machine pistol. Now just reduce the size of this gun very very much. Okay, just like that, a little bit higher but okay, and now you have this Marmo 3, right? And now just drag into the middle of the machine pistol. Now drag this Marmo 3 from here into the first person character, right? Okay, now untick this machine pistol. Okay, now you have 
I'm just gonna untick my original FPS control. Okay, so now we have this little shotgun. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is go into machine pistol. Okay, and we're just gonna tick it. Gonna can't duplicate these um, camera and cube two and drag it into the marble three. Okay, and now I'm taking machine pistol, and now we should have this camera and this little cube, right? Okay, so just drag this out for just one sec, and now align this gun so that the cube is just sitting on top of it, right in the middle. There we go. And now reattach the camera and the cube two into the Marmo three. Okay. Now, once you've done that, just try playing it. And when you're outside crosshair is on something, you should see it on the uh, inside one as well. Okay. So it's kind of perfect now. Okay, so now we need to make it shoot. Uh, so first we'll make it shoot and then we'll add something to actually switch it. So we'll add a script called switch weapon soon. And um, we'll make it switch from each weapon. But before that, we're just going to click on this cube we have here. Right? Gonna take this and we have a cube here and this cube controls the shooting for the uh, machine pistol right so what we're gonna do is duplicate that cube and drag into the marble 3 the machine pistol and now we're just gonna drag that cube into the first uh, compartment of the shotgun okay and that's what you're gonna control the what's gonna control the shooting okay so we're gonna do is remove the shoot manager I'm gonna create a shot gun shotgun script make sure it's she C sharp like usual okay now now um uh we're gonna create a script so when you shoot you take 50 damage off and then there's a small delay so you can't like keep shooting and you can't hold the mouse you're gonna like re-click it each time because if we that's how shotguns work and if we take 50 damage off each time it will just be an overpowered weapon and we don't want that okay so now you're gonna click a pub type in a public float bullets because 250 we're always gonna add that bullets in there and instead of 250 this time we're gonna actually add 50 and public float and time difference between each uh reloading time Public int health. Actually, we don't need that one. Public int points. We need that one. Okay. Now we're just gonna go into the update, and we're gonna move time difference by one every second. And that's delta time. If TD, if TD is under one which is basically zero and if input dot get mouse button down so we talked about this earlier in another episode get mouse button is when you hold the mouse button but when you say get mouse button down it's basically the first frame you click it so um, it's only raycast once so let's create a raycast tip 
and set the TD to 2 again and if physics dot ray cast transform dot position transform dot forward out hit sorry and we're gonna add a closing bracket there okay and hit dot transform dot get component hman so it gets the component from the object that it hit and it minuses the health by 50 and debug dot log shotgun shot something okay and basically that's the shooting script of the shotgun just line this and we're going to do a time difference yep uh, yep and let's go so now we should be able to kill people or monsters with this shotgun so let's test this out okay and uh, it says shotgun shot something and there we go and um it's really cool so there we go it's really annoying the delay but the amount of power that this shotgun holds though oh no ally don't fall off the edge no ally and um my record is actually wave nine it's, it's really fun okay so that was for the shooting okay now what we're gonna do is turn on the machine pistol and disable the marmo 3 marmo and now we're gonna click on the first person character and we're gonna add a we um a script called switch weapon Okay, and we're gonna enter the script. Um. Okay, so this will switch between weapons, and it's really easy. So public game object. Oh my gosh. There we go. Game object MP, and then we're just gonna copy this, paste it, M A. Okay machine pistol and this one's for the shotgun okay and in update if input dot get key down okay key code dot p uh i don't know i just did p because i don't think we'll use it so if mp dot game object dot active self so it checks if machine pistol is active and if it is ma dot set active to true so we set the set the shotgun to true and we turn the mp off Oh, okay. Make sure you have two brackets there. And um, after that, we're just going to copy this part and I'm just going to add else in front of this F, if, and then we're going to get MA, and then we're just going to change this to MP. And it's going to change this to MA, and that's the switch part of everything. Okay, and now in your switch weapon. Now there's MP and MA. Drag your machine pistol into the MP and drag your marmo into the MA. Now, so you can shoot this, right? P. Now you got shotgun. Uh, so I shoot. Wait, yeah, I shot the ninja. Now I can easily kill him. And um, that's that's actually pretty 
I want to eat it. I'm just gonna drag this into here. I make backups all the time. Just gonna delete this. And I'm gonna enable this. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you liked today's video. And I just wanted to add one more um, weapon, by the way, because I, uh, it was kind of boring and it wasn't that powerful, anyway. My allies are really, really good at this game, jeez. And, um, yeah, it was kind of boring without another weapon, and I just wanted to add that element. I, I still like the machine pistol, I don't know why. But there's no survival game without a shotgun, if you think about it. And, um, in the next episode, I am doing ammo. So what we'll do is, we'll have like a bullet checker. So we'll check, uh, like, if for example my machine pistol runs out of bullets, um, it will automatically switch to my shotgun, so we're going to work on that. In the next episode that sounds really easy but um ah that that that, that could be fun just shoot with the shotgun and oh my god no 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 i hate them when they go up because they have air control if you realize that um these don't go off the edge bye bye Oh, I'm way through. And, um, yeah, so it's really tough this game. Oh, there you are. Oh, this game is really, really fun. This could actually be a hit. Oh, well, maybe. Uh, but I'm making a video probably around tomorrow of how to upload to the assets. So if you guys are really interested, and um, when this game actually finishes, I'm actually putting it on the asset store as a survival game template. Um, so stick around for that. And I promised you guys multiplayer, so like you can connect with other people and do multiplayer, which is going to be fun. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you had fun. Uh, please subscribe, comment, like. Do all that good stuff and please help me out. Thanks. Have fun till next time. Bye.